Hey, and welcome back. I find it a regular point of frustration when I either need to put together my bass drum pedal at a gig or swap out a bass drum beater at home. They're typically attached into the pedal by a threaded screw secured in place by a drum key. On plenty of occasions, I'll drop that drum key or just struggle while reaching over to get it all tightened up. In any case, I was pleasantly surprised when I found this small accessory from Lowboy Beaters. Of course, Lowboy Beaters is known for their handcrafted bass drum beaters used by drummers all over the world. I own one of these beaters, and I was really impressed with the experience I had using it, even as a skeptic who thought it was going to be much more one-dimensional. When I was scrolling through their website, I stumbled across an accessory they offer called the Power Switch. It's a simple threaded thumb screw to retrofit perfectly on a DW kick pedal. It's designed to eliminate any need to grab a drum key or separate tool to attach or remove a bass drum beater. When I saw this product, it instantly made so much sense to me. The usual process of fumbling around for a drum key, even when they're nicely stored on the pedal, is still a pain to deal with, and this immediately gets rid of that problem. With the power switch, you can simply twist the handle to loosen or tighten any beater and avoid other tools to make adjustments. While I know $15 seems like a steep price for a glorified thumb screw, once you actually use it, you'll see the engineering that went into this product. Much like the DW cymbal stands with the swiveling ratchet arm at the cymbal tilter, you have the same mechanism built into this thumb screw in order to allow it to work with almost any pedal configuration. It took me a minute to actually figure that out, but once I did, I also realized you have a small hex bolt that allows you to use an Allen wrench to lock it into place at first, just in case you don't feel like pulling the ratchet arm out and making small turns over and over again. For me, I ended up buying two of these because I wanted one for my gigging hardware, since I don't store my pedal with the beater attached, and the second was for my main studio kit, where I also teach, so I often have a low volume beater to use with pads and quiet cymbals that I teach with, and then I'll swap that out with a more standard beater when I'm rehearsing or recording. I'm sure there will be a few people here who don't see the need for something like this, and in certain scenarios, I'd agree. But for me, if I can avoid those situations where I'm fumbling around with the drum key on a dark stage and trying to reach underneath my kit to lock in a beater, the price will easily be justified. If you visit Lowboy's website, you'll see that they not only offer this in a one quarter inch threading that fits DW and Axis pedals, but they now also offer it in an M8 threading, which works with a lot of other brands. I'd love to hear what you think about this kind of product, so leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel to stay up to date on future video releases. Until next time, thanks.